Hello, and we are back live. We apologize, but our streamer was having some issues because of the pure heat from England meant that uh, his stream actually crashed. But uh, in case you couldn't tell, that point was very, very nearly capped by Israel. We're just going to give you a radio cast right now. It was very nearly capped by Israel, but Germany Ubered on the point there, saved it. It went into overtime. There was still capture time, but the German players were just swarming all over, and Israel could not do a thing because they just did not have enough players to help or the position to cap that point. So what can they do? I mean, they they tried a couple of different things. They tried pushing, put, uh, putting pressure on B, and they tried to go for E, but none of it worked. Actually, actually worked out. What would you do in that situation? Uh, I I don't know. I feel like they stayed way too long trying to push E there, and actually, it looks like it looks like the Germans are pushing again. Are they? Oh yeah, they ha they are pushing again. The colors have swapped. They just they need to cap either two points or this point in uh, less than a minute right now. They're fifty seconds left on the clock. There is a level three being set up by at A right now, uh, and most of Team Israel by A. They know that they cannot let Germany capture this point in the next forty seconds, or they will lose it outright. Yeah, that's why they committed all their players to this defense. So if, if they didn't do that, it wouldn't even matter. Uh, they just lose straight out and actually lose the map at this point, right? Would they? No, yeah, they, they would. They would actually, yeah, they'd lose the map at this point if they let them cap in the next 20 seconds. Although it doesn't look like it's going to have to be happening anytime soon. Right over they're going down to some great mini sentry positioning. It looks like Germany are going to do the hard and slow push from the valley right now onto A. You can see most of them there, the Devil Man, Brago, the soldier there spamming it. Now, uh, if they don't manage to cap this in time, they still have a good four and a half minutes to try and. Uh, capture the rest of the points and the uber has been caught for blue team the uber has been exchanged by reds and uh, the credit got four minutes left on top of the heavy and medic from israel are being air blasted around right now it's the, it's only one up it's only revel up as a respawn for israel things are not looking in their favor as brago there is sticking up spawn i i hope john caught that on stream brago during that uber just hit bit like right beneath the ramp and the Red Heavy couldn't see him, and once the Uber was over, he just popped up, put a couple of stickies on him and killed him. It's like a peekaboo kind of moment. <laughs> so right now you can see that Israel here are rotating over to B. They've got a level 1. Now they cannot let uh, Germany capture either B or E in order to win this. They have to hold these two points for two minutes. Then you can see Peter Tarsic and now Homer J there going down to a great bombing by Buzz. Buzz there have been down himself to schmooze, but then a lot of... Uh, Germany are down right now, they're only 5 up, although a lot of people are going in behind that Shocky and Anubis there taking down alongside the soldier, going in via E, taking him down. You can see that the Milkman there is sat in toilet right now, he's trying to get a snipe in through that tiny tiny gap. A Sorrow there taking down Shocky of Girati and the Bushwalker. If Germany's doing what the Israeli team did do, which is putting pressure from all sides, they have a couple of really key players behind, a soldier who's very mobile, and he's protecting a sniper who's very dangerous if you don't see him. Also a demo with a lot of explosive damage from a different angle, and the bulk of the team coming to the, the main road. So this looks like a really successful push. There isn't even that many players to contest this. There's only three, and the Medic, oh nicely done Vigilante. He's still on 70 HP, he's still taking damage. Where is he? I have no idea. I don't even see him. But oh, he gets taken down <laughs> eventually to the, by the Heavy. Too bad. I, Oh, it's, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he was going to Ubersaw there. And I can see lots of red team are going through drop down right now, but there is absolutely no way to catch at this point. And uh, it's currently 2 0 there, 2 journey in a kind of one sided match here on map one of this week one ETF 2 0 HL Nations Cup match. Uh, so, uh, what did you think of that, Atlas? Uh, kind um, as, I, as I said, uh, kind of as I expected. I think what kind of threw me off was that Israel did a really nice push during the first round. That was nicely timed and almost well executed to the point that they almost got that round, but in the end they didn't. But um, yeah, Germany just, just looking stronger in the end, just having um, the more experienced players, the higher diff players, and the more individually strong players. I can't say much about the team play. It's, it's tough to tell on... On, on a map like, like Steel. Yeah, definitely. Now, please stay with us. We do have map 2 coming up, which is PL Badwater, if you do want to watch your nations, if your uh, all these nations battle it out. Now, I've got the logs here up. I've put them in Mumble for you. So uh, let's look at some of these logs. It looks like Bragel there with a free, with a free to nil KD doing 11,500 damage, uh, which is a lot. Spari there on the other team doing 12,000 damage. 
So uh, that was good as well. Although uh, you can see Schmooze here with a 5.4 KAD ratio uh, doing a lot of his team. Looking for me as I'm loading the next map, but am I? These are correct, right? This is this mm -hmm. is not just some some some. Well, it looks like it. That's that's <laughs> cool. Uh, is that Clar with almost 10,000 damage on a roaming soldier? I mean, wow. Yeah. Also on 29 kills, he's all, well, not not highest fragging. Like uh, Brago and Shmuz are still um, above him, but on the soldier with the gunboats, just doing distraction plays and, and getting picks. That's that's so much. Gotta yeah, Clar there with. To him. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, taking good care of the enemy roamers there, and he also did get a few bombs onto VG, the medic for Israel. So I think that's what was working out in the favor. You can see that most of the kills board is being dominated by the German players, occupying most of the second half, the, the second half, the top half, with the only person from Israel being Sorex, the heavy, uh, who's sitting in fourth place on kills. Yeah, and Anubis being the only German player being kind of low, t uh, close to the bottom of the scoreboard. But he's on Pyro, and even though he didn't get many frags, he did a lot of nice uh, reflection plays where he just completely denied pushes and shut down um, players when they tried to push through never door, never doorways. And actually, I think he, he got two players into the pit. Always got to point that out when a pirate does that. That's that's important. <laughs> yeah, it's a really great com comedic moment. So, uh, back onto that who's hot and who's not thing we were going to do. I was about to ask. <laughs> yeah, so back from the last map, who'd you say was uh, hot for Germany? I'd say that would have been Klar. Just looking at the pixie god and the hiding spots and the damage, most of all. Ah, oh, man. I think I'm, think I'm going to have to give my hot over there to Schmooze, who is... Uh, Doing really good heavy work. I believe he's actually off classing. I believe he plays Soldier for It's All Good in EU Platts. So uh, that for me was incredibly impressive. Okay, how about for Israel? Who would you say was uh, hotting it up? Oh, uh, that has to be if I uh, the, the, the overlay Pertasi. Just getting all the good uh, all the good picks um, when 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 this team needs them. It's just that maybe it's it's his timing. He gets them too early. He gets them maybe too often. I I don't even know. Um, but his team can't always follow up, but he's getting all the good picks, and it's fun to watch him just, just uh, playing around the opposing team. I, I'd have to give it to either Spari or Sorrow. I'm not quite sure. Spari there was doing a heck of a lot of damage uh, with his team there, and unfortunately his team just couldn't follow up the damage that he was dealing. However, Sorrow there, I was, I, he got some pretty sick snipes, and he also, he also got a feel really cool. Uh, I know this is... Uh, not the most mature, but he did get some cool Girati plush bushwalker moments, one of which was on Shocky, which I thought was quite amusing. One on Brego, I think, if I recall correctly. I just never see it. I, I, I don't know how it is with you, but I have a hard, a hard time spectating snipers, because you wait and you wait and you wait, and maybe something amazing happens, but otherwise you commit so much time just watching something that, that's, that's just not doing anything, really. Ah oh, man, but these snipers are good. Like uh, Sorrow and uh, the Milkman are really great snipers. So uh, you do expect to see some sick picks from them. Let's let's come on to the uh, slightly meaner side. Who's who's not? Who needs to pick up the game and uh, sort of do more for the team? Uh, this this I'm just gonna say that now it's gonna be a guessing game. Uh, I <laughs> haven't paid too much attention to who was doing bad things because I want to comment on the things that are good. But uh, for for um, the Israeli team, I think it has. Oh dear, I'm, I'm gonna get so much hate for that. Uh, Reveral, like uh, during the last pushes, all I saw was him going down or jumping to the sentry, not doing anything. That was not fun to watch. Um, as for the as for the German team, I I don't know. Uh, yeah, they all seemed to do really well, didn't they? It was hard to pick someone who's doing badly in there. I th I, did they switch up classes? Wasn't Big Homer on Spy before? Now, wait, they have two demos, right? They have two demos. Uh, yeah, this he's is, still on Spy. This is free game. <laughs> yeah, it is. Just everybody else was in their classes except him. Um, I think honestly, it has to be Big Homer for me because I just don't really see anything from him. But that's really just because I'm not paying attention, not because he's bad or doing badly. 
For those of you who just tuned in, uh, I'm Sonny Starmere here with Atlas, and we do have a ETF2L Highlander Nations Cup Week 1 match between Israel and Germany at the moment. Uh, we're currently on the second map, which is PL Badwater. We're waiting for teams to ready up. The first map was on CP Steel, where it went 2-0 to Germany. So hopefully we'll be seeing something different soon from Israel. Do you think something different could happen on Badwater where the mechanics are slightly different? It's still a stopwatch game mode, of course, but uh, the map is, a, well, it's a lot more uh, cookie cutter, shall we say. Yeah, it's, it's more streamlined, it's more direct. Uh, and, and you could say that's, that might change things up to make it easier for Team Israel to push through um, the choke points and crack defenses. But at the same time, what did them in, what did them in, in on Steel was them not being able to actually break through choke points, just having one really solid defense in front of them and not being able to just push through. So uh, just by the looks of how Steel went, I'd say that Team Germany still has the upper hand. Okay, that's that's a good point there. I yeah I really do hope that Israel will pick it back up for this. Uh, for those we're about to start sometime soon. Uh, teams are about to ready up. It looks like Germany are going to be defending first, whereas Israel are going to be pushing here. What do you think of Bad Bad Water as a map? Is it one of your favorite maps? Or it 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 has to be. Uh, especially for a soldier because you can jump all the way on that first area. You, you can just jump anywhere. Wherever you want. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and actually, I think this is one of the few maps where almost any class can do anything. There's so much um, a class can do on this map, different things, and any class can shine on this map. There's a lot of good NG plays you can do, which you normally wouldn't see when there's all choke points, but defending a sentry on this map is kind of tough. So, and, uh, unless you wrangle the sentry all the way from, from the top hill, but yeah, bottom line, I really like this map because it's fun to play as any class. Yeah, definitely. Now, both teams have readied up right now. Uh, I'm assuming that we're gonna see some sort of, yep, we are seeing the suicides coming in for a uh, red team as they are building in more or less sa the standard sentry location here on Badwater, which for those of you who don't know, is on the cliff. Actually, the sentry gun is a bit further forward than usual, so we're gonna be seeing something different. Mission begins in 30 if I didn't know any better, um, I'd say they're, they're expecting like a tunnel push, something really unconventional, and just keep the sentry uh, away from an easily spammable spot. But do we even have... They're actually hidden behind the rock, so you can't really spam it all that easily. I think that's what they're going for, so... It's more top-heavy as a defense. They're expecting the Israeli team to actually push from top with the bulk of the team. Or is he repositioning it? That would... no. Um, yeah, it's, it's more or less the same place. The problem yeah. with that position is it doesn't really cover the tunnel, but I'm assuming that they're gonna have some watching tunnel and they're just gonna throw people down there. Right, you can see VG here going up the... trying to go up the left-hand side to do some sneaky action. Brago there catching off Sora with some pipes already. You can see Brago, I mean Sparrow, trying to get in, trying to get a bomb to force a medic, but he does get taken down by the sentry gun. The sentry gun is removed again. A, a buzz goes down. Sora goes down to so another pipe there from Brago. Things are not looking good for him. He can't get a shot in onto the cliff. Yeah, and for some reason the Israeli team is committing uh, the spy and the scout um, to this to, to, to the card, which normally you wouldn't do. You kind of want the NG who died before and the scout doing that. And oh, Gerardi, Gerardi won Bushwaka combo and no, Sniper gets taken down. I, I was so prepared to watch that, but uh, he got the spy. That, that was good. He didn't even, wasn't even able to dead ring or anything. Nicely done. But in terms of the card, um, they've gotten really far. They actually managed to push um, the card all the way through the tunnel. It's sitting right outside it. And there's a mini sentry wrangled at the big sentry. Actually, no, you can't hit it from there, can you? Not quite uh, yeah. sure, but... No, so, uh, this didn't work. that's the problem of having the sentry gun so far back. You can see that Buzzer tried to get a bomb in. Now, for those of you who missed it, the Uber was popped there from Israel, straight out of spawn. It was really early there, just so they could get the flash on Spire. You can see that there's uh, currently a heavy on the car. Zorks there getting taken down by a combination of uh, Jurati and Shmuz there. Vichy getting taken down by Shmuz as well. They attempted a tunnel push Israel just now, and it is not working out in their favor because Homer J currently has 80% Uber. A lot of his team are very weak though, and at the moment it looks like Germany are only 4 up. Uh, they only just managed to get some respawns in, although they do have level 3 a dispenser and a teleporter up by the cliff, so they will be able to get some reinforcements sometime soon to defend this point. Oh, there's a scout in the cart though, and he's, he's getting the cart dangerously- Oh, never mind. 
Milkman just just completely denying the scout on the card. <laughs> oh wow. Um, there was a spy just around the sentry, but I think did, did he actually take down the sentry? No, oh, um, it's he just been reset up. Get down the sentry. No, no, it's just, it, it has been rebuilt. Wow, so you can see that uh, Thunderson getting taken down by Snipe from the Milkman. Reverently, they're taking down as well. The Uber there was popped on home here to save some of his team, which will give BG an Uber advantage. He's currently got a good 60% Uber advantage right now. The scout, the car is being pushed there by Spy. Uh, does, which does get taken down, but that does enough Red need to be on guard right now for anything which might uh, tip that car over. Uh, Buzz there getting taken down, Shocky getting taken down, BG there getting taken down to some great sticks from Rago. So uh, it's currently Vichy has to go back again as Homer J will have a good 50% Uber advantage by the time Vichy spawns. Yeah, that's that's going to take a lot of time off the clock for, for Team German. And they're still in a really comfortable position, but yeah, again, nicely done by the Spy and the Scout this time. Just committing one player, but two players to get the car pushed across. But uh, this is my lack of, of Highlander play. Does this change anything? Um, I know it doesn't change anything for the blue spawns in terms of positioning. Like, they don't get uh, denied a door or the red team gets um, a new kind of spawn door. But uh, do they get different times? I, be I believe that they don't really get different spawn times. Uh, on this, well, spawn times are fairly normal. Now, Homer J here has 100% Ubi. You can see that the engineer that's fun there from... Uh, Germany has managed to pick up his level 3 sentry and move it back to roof. That was a very long capture time then for Israel who are on blue. That was almost 3 minutes just to capture point 1 right now. And I don't believe uh, Shocky is taking it serious because he's now using Sandman and a guillotine. So uh, the I think baby these, faces uh, blaster. <laughs> yeah, I think oh, these wow. uh, unlocks here are really novel for a uh, straight up 6s player right now. You can see that uh, Israel here are gonna try and push through from underneath the roof right now. They've got basically almost all the team right now, although VG's only coming up to 50% Uber, and Buzz again get taken down by headshot from the Milkman. I'm not sure what team Israel is doing right now. I don't. Oh, wait, it's because I don't have my outlines on. I, th I thought nobody is around to do anything, but never mind. They're, they're getting ready for a top push, which, which is a good decision. You need to take that roof, but it's simply guarded by a pyro, demo medic. Uh, and the engine with the sentry, but you have to take the roof, otherwise you're just going to get spammed by the sentry, and um, they're kind of scattered at the moment. They they actually have to deal with the spy all the way back and commit four players to it. The medic even drew, um, drew out of the warehouse. Yeah, out of the warehouse. But yeah, now it looks like they're getting ready with the full uber, but three players down. You really want to do that, guys. That doesn't seem like a good idea. And they pop. Yeah, they pop. It, it seems like they're going to do a rush push anyway. They pop on their demo heavy. The uber is being flashed around a lot by blue. The red uber pops much later. It's being popped on the pyro. VG is surely going to go down to his pyro action. Is he? No, he isn't. He just managed to get saved by his pyro. Revro there getting taken down by a headshot from the milk. Spari there killing himself. Oh, Dickies and Big Home that can't do any more spy action. He's totally top scoring, but he does finally get taken down. Uh, right now, uh, Blue don't have many players up. They were just five up just now. Got some respawns. So they did manage to take down a sentry gun, which is being built back to level one. There's a scout in the cart trying to edge it alongside an engineer, but uh, there's not much that they could do. Uh, although Shocky does get taken down by a great headshot from Sorrow there across from main. Yeah, I, I gotta say, those snipers are really good, just headshotting scouts left and right. And this is too bad, Spar- Wow, where did Spari come from? <laughs> wow, he was hiding all the way back, I think. All the way in the back there that nobody ever uses. Uh, and jumped in, but he got denied by, by the heavy, who for some reason looked right in the direction. But but yeah, he, he actually made the opening for his team, just taking down the sentry during that Uber exchange we saw, what, 40 seconds ago? But nobody actually um, took advantage of that and just did an off Uber push. Instead, the sentry has been set up and Ubers are back at full. So it's all been reset. That's too bad. Yeah. We will be seeing some sort of push in from Israel. We're seeing actually right now is that uh, Uber there is actually popped onto the pyro. He's trying his best to do a Q and uh, push everyone off the roof right now. The Uber is finally popped back from Israel. And oh my god, that is devastating. Wick goes down, Delta goes down, Buzz, Fiji, Thunderseer. Sorry, Revro, oh my god, the only one up with Sorrow. That was like a complete devastation there. That was... Uh, almost, almost like a World War II. No, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, the, 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 
the, the Israel team was wiped, and honestly, I give most of that, or actually mo almost all of it, to Anubis, who just completely denied and, and pinned most of the players into positions where Brago was able to just pick them up. He just said, oh, the Pyrus is just everlasting them against the wall. I'm just gonna put, what, three, four stickies there and detonate them? Yeah, that's fine. Let's leave three players down. But now, now we're gonna see the Assassin classes in action, just taking down three players in a row. And, ah, too bad, not a set sentry, but the sentry was being set up, and the energy died, so it wasn't being set up fast enough, and was stuck in the building sequence, and was was taken down right away. Uh, that's the opening they won, they got the player advantage, they got, do they have an uber advantage? I can't tell, no they don't. But there's an uber, and Homer J is on 50 HP, and he popped. Nice, safe play, and it's gonna force the Israeli team back. Yeah, there's currently one minute on the clock right now for them to capture that B point. Although they, I think they're just gonna try and do a push through main. A lot of overhealed players going in through main right now, and it is again by cap there by wig. Great work, and it means that Red do have to pull out right now from the roof area as we are gonna flood up there sometime soon. There is a level one being left on the roof by the engineer. He's gonna manage to get it up though. It definitely is up with the position advantage, chipping away at a lot of blue team. So I believe have rotated around to roof. Uh, or gonna rotate round to Reef if they're smart and uh, try and gain the height advantage. They f yeah, they finally got the B point, but they, that took so long, that's seven and a half minutes. That is, that is a lot of time just for two points. They have to hurry a lot. They, this has to be a roll from, from, from now to the end of the map. Otherwise, it's going to be like a 15 minutes time for the entire map. That is way too much actually be, uh, to actually be somewhat competitive. Um, but it's looking not too bad, even though Brego and the Milkman just took down two players. And two more go down, oh no, never mind what I just said, they're, they're losing players left and right, literally, just two on the left, one on the right. Yeah, so right now you can see both medics here have 100% uber advantage, you can see lots of Israel are getting very aggressive right now. You can see the heavy there at the bottom trying to push in free main, the uber there is popped onto Spari right now, although a lot of blue team are going down so they can't chase up with that support. Uh, the homer J is still holding onto that uber, does finally get forced there by the scout, Spari there going down, BG. Is he gonna follow him or is he gonna get out? I think he just managed to uh, get out there. Delta there going down as well as Shocky. You can see that Homer J is in trouble right now. He's being attacked by a spy. That's Wig there finally gunning him down. Although he does go down to the enemy spy uh, in revenge with Brago going down as well. So right now we're seeing a lot of Germany down. And this would be a good time for Israel to push him, but they just do not have the positioning. No, um, only. They did just get two picks, so they might be able to push with that. Um, Uber v... well, no Uber versus non-Uber. Uh, which is dangerous, especially in Highlander, because there's so much people who can just catch you off guard when you do the push. You do rely on that Uber, but they don't have much of a choice. They, they have to do something to just push ahead and get the C point, which is really, really crucial, because it gives um, the blue team the forward spawn, so that, that's gonna eliminate most of the walkway. Walkway. Yeah, definitely. And you can actually see that this VG uh, went down, uh, didn't go down, and because Homer J went down, he has a good 50% window of uh, push here. Uh, Spari there is taking down Shocky, Big Homer, and Claw with the pipes. Take it down. Although, uh, Brago there is taking down VG, Sorrow, and Buzz in response. VG there popping, uh, dropping that Uber right now, which will mean that Homer J, who's currently on 75%, will have a lot to hold this with. Although you can see Claw there. Not Claw there, you can see uh, Sorix there trying to go for the bombing and does get taken down, so that was really unfortunate on his part. I was about to say, that looked really, really good. Germany being down four players and uh, blue team being on what, eight players and full Uber, and then suddenly I didn't see uh, who got the bomb in. Was it the soldier? Was no, it what happened again? there was there was a sticky trap on this middle house here, go. which is being solo hold, held by Brago there, who does finally get taken down. But that sticky trap there caught VG and uh, caught a few others as well, so that's really unfortunate. He probably should have popped a bit earlier, just in case. But. Uh, Oh my god, uh, Pietasi there, taking down Schmooze, taking down Homer J. That's really great work there by Wig. If uh, the other team do not push on this right now, with Germany only being free up, I'm gonna have to shoot them as uh, unfortunately Buzz does get taken down. But Spyro there jumping up by the top, spamming lots, he's spamming a lot of pups. Is he gonna get anything? He does finally take down that sentry. A lot of people stuck up in that top attic, really hurt right now. This one need to make the most of this. They've only got one on cut, they need to get more, they need to. Uh, put a lot more pressure on Germany right now, who's sitting a bit back with overheal as the Uber does get popped from VG alongside main. Yeah, looking good. Um, oh, the Pyro, again, 
Just one air blast, just pushing back two players, and the heavy had enough time to peek around the corner and put enough pressure to just force the entire blue team back around that corner. So nicely played, Anubis. Kind of the match for the red team, definitely for me, no matter what happens after this. Unless something amazing happens, in which case I'll just take back my statement anyway, but whatever. <laughs> Right, so you can currently see two types on the cut coming from Israel right now. Homer J will have a good 40% uh, uber advantage. Uh, a Soro there getting taken down by his enemy sniper with Spyro going down. It looks like uh, Israel cannot even try soft push right now because they don't have enough power left to stop. Only being uh, 5 or 6 off right now, just getting in some respawns. Things are not looking good as there's currently a level 3 in the standing position on Bad Water coming from Germany. Hey, is this still the first half of the first round? This is still the first half of the first round of the second map, yes. Well, that, it that, is. That's amazing, it's, it's taken... going on for so long. <laughs> yeah, the, it took uh, Israel 11 and a half minutes to capture 3 points, and there's currently 4 and a half minutes uh, left on the clock for them to capture all points right now. Their sticky is all over the cut, coming from Spy right now. Revo uh, getting taken down by a headshot. Shocky there, going down some nicely placed sticks there. Well, from Spy Spyro. behind Homer J. One step, two steps, three steps, whoa. Well, it was just two, one didn't register, but that was dangerous and, and cool play by Homer J just literally facing a spy, just face to face. Yeah, right now Israel gonna attempt some sort of push because uh, Germany there were four down and they did have a number advantage. Uh, the Uber there was popped underneath the point uh, because the Uber was popped from VG but didn't really manage to get anything. VG there. Uh, not BG, but again taken down by a headshot from the Milkman after he was uh, dislocated there from the rest of his team in map group. You see a lot of uh, both teams are dying right now as uh, Shocky and the Milkman going down to assassination classes from Israel. But that sentry gun is still up and running, that uh, medic there is still up though, although he does have a 15% uber disadvantage and is getting bombed in by a soldier. Well, this might be actually a successful push. Um, they're getting cornered in that area, and most of the blue team is ready to swarm it. If they do it now, if they push in, 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 in uh, unison, um, they might be able to just take the point. And there's the soldiers getting two two rockets on, on the sentry. It has to be rang up, but the enemy's nowhere near it to actually keep it alive. And the pyro does a nice strafe, takes on the sentry. There's a mini sentry from the blue team on the, on the uh, what was it even called, um, this area. And most of the blue team is on this now. There's only three players up for the red team. This looks good. This looks really good. Even though it's not a good time. Can Brago do the emergency defense? It there. looks like. Dropping again. He needed to pop to keep his team alive on that cart. They only, they only managed to push it by the skin of the team. Germany did get a lot of respawns in, but they just kept people on the cart. And Germany didn't manage to put people on it. But that is 14 minutes. 14 minutes and 15 seconds for all five points there on Badwater. Uh, along with some overtime. I've had one of my agents just tell me that uh, VG dropped to Klar again uh, about a minute ago, and that was the, what, third drop this match? Uh, this um, is... Yeah, that was like the third drop about that. I don't know. It's, it's a bit uh, like he is like a good medic. I'm going to assume that it's just his day off right now. He just needs to be, a, his finger just needs to be a bit more itchy on the M2 button. Well, to be fair, um, the instances where he died, I didn't see the, the Klar bombing, but a spy uh, is kind of tough to do when your team is distracted and isn't checking properly. You can't really blame him for that. And the Sticky Trap, I didn't see that, but Sticky Traps are usually the fault of um, your team as well, not the medic's yeah. fault. They have to well, check. Well, his they team should have checked, but like to be fair, they, they did have a rank with Sentry and a Heavy in their face, which they sort of had to focus on. Oh, but yeah. I, if I were him, I would have like, popped a bit earlier, because that is the most obvious Sticky Trap location on the map. It's very well known. But anyway, the timer has stopped, and this time we have Germany on blue. They have to be 14 minutes on the clock right now, coming in from... Uh, Israel who are on the reds. Uh, we have something interesting in the setup. Because I, I, I. Oh, Brago going in with the cave but doesn't get anything. Yeah, I just. Oh, too bad. I mean, after Shaki going for the um, freaking blaster, uh, guillotine, and Satman combo, I would expect them to do. I mean, caver isn't that out of the order. Kind of, you sometimes yeah. do it, but I would expect um, the German, German team to do something really crazy when they have the time to do it. Even though I'm not quite, a, quite a big of a fan of it because it's, it's kind of disrespectful if you do it. Uh, but I guess whatever is fun, right? Oh well. Yeah, yeah. the milkman there taking down Soros, so that's a lot of uh, air denial gone there from Israel. Uh, 
Fiery there taking down the sentry gun, taking down Clara as well, so we won't be seeing animal bomber action. Both medics are still 100%. BG there going down to backstab from Big Homer. Drops right next to sentry. Uh, again, dude, come on. Actually, yeah, that, actually that rage was, no, that one kind of wasn't his fault. He's standing right next to Sentry, he's standing oh, right next Omer to Omer J was hitting a spy, but, aw, uh, nicely played by Schmooze, who just shot him and the spy got taken down. But that was, that was dangerous. Medic being oblivious to a spy that's right in front of him. But, oh, this is a good push. And there's a bomb from the soldier, forced the Uber, nicely done by, who was that? Was that Sorex? Is he on soldier? Wasn't he on sniper before? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, though, no, no, uh, never, never Spari, mind, yeah, so... Spari and Sara there getting taken down. It looks like you're really hard right now and pretty aggressive. They've only left one on the cart, though, but Brago is already attempting to sticky trap that shutter door alongside the time. They need to leave more people on the cart, though. It's be only being pushed by one right now, and uh, this isn't the best thing. This guy has actually gone all the way up. I hope, yeah, he has lived back and realized he has to push the cart right now. This is what you get with Sixers players playing HL. They don't know what they're meant to do. Um... I... Oh, too bad that the heavy got taken down, because otherwise I wouldn't really mind the one person on the card, which isn't too bad, because again, what, what you're seeing right now, they've actually committed almost their entire team to a forward push, just holding way in front of the card, and being able to just push the, the red team um, in front of them, but uh, it looks like they've actually taken good positioning now, and Clark goes down, sadly. Uh, but yeah, the German team was, was doing the right thing, pushing ahead, trying to keep the cart rolling, and now, now it's caught up to them. So, uh, they have an Uber ready, and Vigilante goes down! How did that happen? Uh, I, it was just really unfortunate, but uh, right now the Uber is being popped from Germany at the moment. Oh dear, yeah, so we, we, we have an Uber? It was popped, right? Yeah. I, I yep, can't see it, darn it! I need to fix this. Uh -huh. Yeah, Uber was popped, but it didn't look like there was actually a dent or anything in, in the Israeli defense. We have a spy sneaking up to the sentry nest, where only the NGs at the moment. There's no, no pyro to help out, but he gets stuck at the dispenser. I love that play. Actually jumps through the window <laughs> window and, act, and gets the sapper on the sentry. Nicely played, and it actually goes down. Nice focus fire by Brago. Just, where did he place a sentry? Uh, oh, he was going in from behind, too. Nicely done. Yeah. I, I thought he was just, just doing some long range stickies all across can, the map, but. Can I just note, there's currently 10 and a half minutes left on the clock, and Jeremy is surely going to cap point free, but at the moment, BG is on 80% crit streak right now, whereas Homer J is on 70% Uber. He needs to pop this right away to get some sort of drop. Uh, the milkman there uh, trying to go in for a bomb. Uh, the crit streak is going to get popped sometime soon. Just pop it, BG! Pop it on your devil man! Otherwise, uh, Homer J will get this They're Uber going in it. time. They, they, they are did. popping it, they are popping it. It's nice, but anyone, they, uh, he gets, they pick up the heavy, he the but heavy. there's Clar behind. He needs to take the medic. He gets Clar with a crit pipe, but that was not enough. That was that was not enough there. Yeah, uh, the medic was nowhere spam. near them, sadly. Ah, uh, too bad. But um, we we talked about the crits on on uh, steel, but on Batwater, I I I like it. I haven't really played with it in Highlander. I I know it in pubs, but. <clears throat> Let's not talk about that, but it looks like it's, it's a much better decision because even if you have Uber V crits, there's all these 90 degree uh, degrees turns where you can just pop around and pop the crits, and you might not even have enough time to just uh, pop the Uber in time. Yes, yes, I do agree with you. And right now, uh, it looks like Germany are pressuring in onto the last point there. Breko, they're taking down the engineer with a cable. Buzz there going down, Spari going down. A lot of Israel are down right now. In fact, they're only four up at this moment. And uh, that cart just needs to have more people on it right now because uh, there's a lot, there's only slime pushing it right now. And then Blue are him. doing their best to uh, spawn camp it. But seriously, it's only one time's up. And Shocky, Shocky needs to get into the cart right now. There's a spy on it. That's uh, Pietasi taking down Fun. Uh, doesn't manage to take down anyone else though. And that was a really decisive round there by uh, Germany capping it in five minutes. <laughs> uh, actually, before that push happened, I, I was, um, I was almost questioning my. Uh, ability to, to see color. I was thinking, oh wait, why is there pressure on Team Israel? They're all in yard or in, in this last area on the last point. When I was looking at the blue team, Jeremy just having wiped the red team and just standing there just waiting for them. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, so right. uh, do you think that there's a way that Israel can uh, pull it back somehow and just like get some sort of draw on this map? I honestly wouldn't know how. Just they—they've tried so many different things, and uh, to be fair, this is not 
me saying they have no chance ever. It's just me not knowing enough Highlander tactics to say they have to do this to counter what Team Germany is doing. But um, it's it's so tough for them to actually get um, a hold on, on, on the opposing team because they, they seem to outplay them at every turn. Uh, they get the met drops, they get um, the essential picks on the heavy and the demo. They get players behind all the time, diverting their attention. They do everything right. They get, uh, well, not everything, but they get most things right. And most things they actually try to do work out. Like a soldier sneaking behind almost always results in, in a key pick. And the sentry is being guarded so well. And Anubis, as I said before, that guy has gotten so many key uh, air blasts. And his positioning is just um, amazing. At least in the instances where I, I've, I've watched him, which was like three times, and every single time I watched him, he did something really, really amazing, resulting in uh, the opposing team getting wiped or being damaged severely. Yeah, now it looks like uh, both teams have swapped colors now, and it will be Israel's turn to defend first while uh, Germany sets the time. Very quickly, we've got the logs from the first round there. After that, now I'm looking at the damage numbers. That's Bragel coming out on top there with 12,000. Uh, Spari there, 11,500 on the other side. Now we're looking at kills, and Bragel is again on top with 41 right at the top. And the next guy is the Milkman, his uh, team sniper. He's at 28, so that is a massive difference of about 14 kills. Yeah, uh, that is yeah, that is quite the difference. Then again, uh, it wasn't defense, right? So if, if you, oh, it's always a thing where. If you're in defense and you have players just rushing you, you just pick them off. Um, a better team on defense gets a lot more kills, which sounds stupid, I know. But if you have a good team on offense, you just roll through and you have a couple more kills, but not that many. Right. Do you know who I want to watch uh, come out of spawn? I want to watch Brago. I wonder if he's going to go in for that Kaber again. Does he? Is that the sticky jumper? I'm not quite sure if he switched loadouts or not. I don't know. I'm, I'm zoomed out. He's coming. He's going for the Kaber. He's flying. Is he going to get the Kaber? Oh, he so good! He got the Although he does get the force <laughs> from BG, oh, he does not want again. to drop again. No, no, it was the safe play, but I don't think Bragg was actually close enough. He got pushed back by the sentry, but that was so close. But yeah, nice, nice reactions from BG, and nice play by Brago going for for the right play, <laughs> actually getting the force right away. So this is a really comfortable position for Team Germany, having a full over, getting slowly in position. And for some reason, both spies for me have a blue outline. That is rather... Oh, now it's fixed, okay. That was really confusing for a second. Um, yeah. Anyway, Brago there actually going in and successfully pulling off a Cadus. Now you can see that uh, the Milkman there is positioned along the right hand side. He's going to try to go in for something. BG there, you know, taken down by a big Homer. And but Revero shot him. Thundersin also going, down, which means that his, there's no one up to heal his sentry. This is looking very dominant right now by Germany as they're pushing up through a lot. And at the moment, Israel are only free up at the moment. Uh, they're only, yeah, they're only bring up. We just got some spawners in. Rego is again going in for some sort of Kaber. Uh, gets Girati on and Kaber's himself. <laughs> well, and VG has switched over to crits. <laughs> okay, so we got the crits creek on offense, which is interesting. This is th this is something something that they um that they probably should have done before. Just getting the crits and do they get? Uh, they're gonna have an advantage, right? It's stupid that the overlay is actually covering my over percentage. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna have a slight advantage, which might give them an edge. Actually, stupid me, this is this is Team Germany doing that, so they might be able to roll even faster. I BG. completely lost track. VG is on Crit's Creek, actually. He's coming up to 80% Crit's Creek. There is a spy, though, going in on them. Take down Buzz, doing his best to try and gun down VG. Let's get shut down. Milkman there, getting uh, taken down by Sorrel. In fact, I'd call that an out snipe, because... Uh, only just though, because they have been currently one to one, but I think that Sora has the edge over here. Now he's kind of got the crit Both streak, he's gonna pop crits. it on this double man. He pops it, he gets the heavy, he gets smooth, he takes out the newest of a crit pipe there. Uh, at the moment, uh, BG misses the stab there on the enemy medic. Uh, while the crit there is popped back. Uh, from Homer J, Chris from both teams and actually takes down VG, the Devil Man, and I think that was Delta also getting taken down. But this will mean that Germany do have this roof area to spam down and gain the a height advantage uh. over Israel. And uh, Homer J there, Uber soaring wig to death. Which gives them. Oh, wait, he, he already killed the medic, so they're already back to 80% on crits. This, and there's only three players up for Team Israel. This might be just a roll all the way to the third point, to point C. Oh, let's, let's see if they can do that. Probably see in a bit further. 
Um, they're pushing ahead again. This is this is some good positioning. And Clara getting position, calling the sentry. Uh, that sentry might actually be able to delay them by quite a bit and allow Team Israel to take position around that corner. And yeah, they're doing that. And this is this corner I was talking about. You can just pop around it and spam a couple of stickies and you might not be able to see it. It just depends on how all the crystals pop for Team Germany. But they're not just yeah. to do anything. But they're shocked that going in with, oh, this might be, oh, he gets the sniper. Uh, only the sniper, too bad. But that was that was a good play. Oh, what happened spy. there was they popped the crits there onto the heavy because the demon man wasn't in position to pop the crits. And what happened was uh, Wig there dropped stabbed and killed heavy like as the crits was popped, which meant that uh, I think that was Homer J. Yeah, Homer J didn't have anyone immediately who was optimal to pop that crits. And you can see that red team are gonna try and push us back right now as VG has 90 has 100% crit streak and he will pop this crit streak to save the card. Hopefully, if he can get there in time, although he is holding very far back. Yeah, he's really scared for some reason. Um, but they're getting in position now, and it has been popped off. Hasn't gotten anything yet, but it gets the Milkman. That's not a key pick, that's not important. And Team Germany going all the way back behind the shed, and nicely played by them, just completely dodging the crits. The Milkman taking most of what it was. Yeah, definitely. Now we can see that uh, Homer J has now gone to 100% Chris Creek, although there is a level 2 there on the tracks by Thunderson, and Red are swarming all around this cart right now. Uh, Thunderson needs to move that sentry up if it's going to be anywhere effective right now, but he's just basically too scared of getting crits in the face. It looks like Germany are just going to edge this cart with Shocky. Oh, Shocky finally oh. pushing the cart there. She moves there on 14 health, taking a lost bam down. Uh, uh, Sorix there taking down Shocky uh, with, I think that was a Jurati rocket, and Brago there getting stabbed by uh, BG, delaying this cut. This is actually um, not that fast coming in from Germany, not as fast as I expected, but four and a half minutes for three points. Yeah, uh, it's, it's not that fast, but um, you have a couple players not playing quite seriously, I'd say. Oh, Spari, nicely done. Was that a counter crit? It was. Yeah, that was two crits. That was the crits on two schmooze. So, but then Spari going in, taking down like four people, including the enemy medic with that. Uh, taking down Shocky as well. Spari going freaking huge today. Yeah, he had that really nice sticky trap that did quite kill uh, schmooze. He was he was literally just walking over a couple of stickies that were placed on the, um, on the, on the staircase right next to him. But... Uh, his sticky placement has been really good so far. The crits, aside from this one, not quite as successful, but it looks like he's, he's, he's uh, picking up. He's picking it up. He's, he's getting better at it. But, oh, Team Israel needs to be careful now. They're in the same position that almost um, bit them in the last time, where they could just collapse onto the... Oh, wait! That was when Team Israel was, was actually attacking, so they're in the position they put Team Germany in last time. But it looks yeah, like they're actually diverting their attention well enough to not get caught in that. Yeah, that sentry gun there is being spammed out by a lot of people in the map room, which didn't really work out, although it looks like uh, Israel had managed to push them back. Right now, uh, Homer J is on, I think that's 80% on Medigun right now, whereas VG has respawned. He's only got 25%, and I believe he's rolling, he's rocking a Medigun themselves, so uh, both medics are using normal loadouts. Nope, actually, still crit squeak, but he is getting bombed in right now. Will. A uh, Clara managed to get anyone, I don't think so. Oh he my god, Clara they're getting it. punched by uh, Buzz to death. They're, they're having fun, that was that was funny. We almost got uh, BG with the skill stick, almost. Uh, yeah, instead we got most of Germany actually coming from the window room, popping the Uber, and... Was there a sentry? I don't think there was a sentry. Oh, it's it there. Was, yeah, yeah, it I, was... They uh, were fully expecting it, but there was none. Um, so now they're just standing in the yard again, just waiting for something to happen. Too bad they don't have a player on the card. They have a scout there, but the heavy can guard it, even though he's getting spammed right now. Oh, yeah. if, if Team Israel doesn't get it together and, and get their spawns back in time, um, Team Germany might just be able to push into yard and completely set up and keep them from actually contesting the card. Yeah. It's not looking too bad right now. Germany, Germany just did a good uber in but they didn't have anyone on the cart and I don't care if Shocky is the best scout in Europe or not but he just needs to get on the cart right now uh, as that as his team could have easily capped if he just did his darn job but of course he doesn't understand because he plays sixes but this will mean that Israel are managing by Brago. the skin of their teeth to uh, do something right now Spari there taking down Brago with a pipe to the face and that uh, finish off finishes off Brago himself. You can see Spari there taunting with Noob down. There's currently a level 2 being set up in the stand position right there by Thunderson. You can see Vichy there still rocking that crit screen, coming up to 75% right now. 
We should be seeing some exciting action soon. I believe uh, Homer J is running. Is that a crit streak? I can't even see. He's moving around. Huh. I I don't know. Uh, no, it's a medigun. It's a medigun. I can confirm right. that it's but a medigun. The crit set crit is, is pop. pop. Takes down Homer J. Takes down Brago with those first two stickies. Takes down Claw with the third. Oh my god, Spari definitely for man of the match here. Doing a lot of damage. Smooth is all alone in the map. He's going to get picked out right now as uh, the movement can take down his enemy. Uh, heavy buzz. So, uh, that Cedric is still up right now by Thunderstein, although Israel are only two of themselves. And there is a faggot sentry right by the cart there, which does finally get taken down by Anubis jumping are you, in. Are you joking? Pertazzi just got taken down by a sentry, aiming for something entirely else while he was cloaked with a dead ringer. Being on fire and being shot at actually did him in while he was cloaked. Oh, uh, that's too bad. He almost survived it, but now, yeah, there's only four players up for Team Israel, and they're dropping health rapidly. Like what combined 200 health on the entire team right now. One respawner open, one goes down. Seven players up for Team Germany. If they only got on the card, Anubis doing it. Yeah, you gotta carry that team, Anubis. Go on. Um, looks like they're gonna take it. It's gonna be just a couple more seconds, and this is gonna be their round. Yeah, decisively. That and that was actually surprisingly good round by Israel. Like that defense on like sort of on third kind of on third but especially on fourth that was really what brought it back to them they defended it for a whole five minutes there taking it to about an above average time on bad water the optimum time you want to see for bad water is about seven minutes like anything above that not that good anything below that is good so uh that's nine minutes yeah it's but was this the time that was set right it was i i i i mean to what i, I meant to uh actually keep explaining um, how stopwatch worked because I think I figured it out now but now it's kind of tough to say this was the start of the second round so the two rounds before were the first one which Germany won because they beat the time that Israel set um, and now which team attacked just now? Uh, team, Israel, team, team Germany it's, attacked. Uh, it's nine Israel minutes. on attack right now they have to beat that nine minutes and two seconds uh, time uh, set by Germany there now you can see that Israel are doing that forward sentry that Germany did last round, I think it worked. Not, I mean, yeah, Germany are doing that forward sentry that they did last round. There, my mouth. Um, yeah, it's, it's getting confusing. Yeah. It is. But yeah, if Israel wins this, uh, it goes on to a third round or a third set of two rounds. And if Germany wins, they take this. Uh, is there a six over this? I, I think so. Right, it's group phase, so it would be a six zero thing. Having won two maps. Uh, we don't have. I'm. I'm. Oh, Sorix is on the direct hit, trying to take out the sentry as fast as possible. Where this position is really good, they actually have to get the uh, soldier into position all the way to the right, where he can. We would walk against a giant rock, so he has to be very exposed to have something with him. Otherwise, the sentry go is is there to stay. Was a jump in, and he got the dispenser. Oh, sorry. The, the Uber right is thing. popped in there by Israel alongside the cliff. The Uber is popped back from Germany. That pyro, the air blasting all of the Israeli players back. Not much they can do when they're out of position. They've got a level 3 rank with sentry in the face. You can see that uh, the scout there, that uh, Revro there on the cart, trying to edge it, does get taken down there by Brego. The sentry gun finally gets taken down by some sticks from Spari. The Shmoo's going down to a great stab from Wig. And uh, both Spari and uh, Zoro going down. Shocky there, working that uh, baby faces blaster to a uh, decent extent, I guess, with Homer J going down as well. So this will should be in Israel's favours, they do have the better spawns right now and all they need to do is push through the tunnel onto the top, which is what they're doing. Or Gerardi or crits? I think it was Gerardi, right? From Klar? Yeah. Uh, well, not from Klar, but actually exploiting it, getting a mini crit rocket. I was confused for a second. Yeah, that, that was a really good push. I mean, if you think back a couple of rounds, Team Israel took like, what, five or six minutes to take the first point? So this is looking really good. Um, they, they're in a good position. If they keep this up, Never mind. <laughs> oh my god, big homer there with a double stab on the cut there. Takes down Sorex, take down Revro, his other assassination class, the milkman there taking down Buzz with a great headshot. It really looked like it was in Israel's favor though. What won them that first point was a level three by Thunderson in the tunnel, really covered Israel's back as they were pushing in and as uh, Germany were jumping off. But VG there going down to some sticks from Rego gets caught, goes down on a hundred percent. Again, that was so Fortunate there, he probably should have popped after that first sticky hit him. But anyway, uh, Storks and Delta going down right now, and at the moment, Israel were just three or four up, only just got some respawns in. Whilst uh, Home J is holding 100% on the roof right now, with uh, Bekoman taking down.
Doro with uh, an ambassador headshot. Yeah, that's just a, some an instance of just domination, and I think there's gonna be another. No, Spari taking down Big Homer before he can lay his sapper on the sentry. Nicely spotted. I don't even know where he got that from, but wow. And Team Mister is getting ready for another top push. I'm not sure if the uh, direct hit, unless he, yeah, nicely done. So he's gonna spam the sentry all the way from the back. Wait, no, he's jumping in and gets taken down by the heavy. Why would you do that? Oh. <laughs> Uh, because he couldn't get an angle on the sentry, never mind, it was the right decision. It was funny because he just jumped by Clark, who was uh, hiding in that same area, and Zorix just jumped over him, leaving him behind. But yeah, that push didn't, did it work? It didn't work. Germany just completely denied them again, and Clark made acquaintance with the sentry that was still there, and I guess wasn't called. He just jumped into it and got taken down instantly. We do have a spy from the red team getting on, uh, getting on the MG, but doing not much, just getting caught out. Okay, oh, let's, let's watch this. Let's watch this. VG has 100% Uber. There is a sticky trap coming in oh, from Red on. Eagle <laughs> by this. It has been, has it been spotted out? No, but there are sticky traps on either side of this door that leads to roof. Can you see them? Four on each side. Uh, and, yes. Uh, VG, VG, is he going to push in his team through main? Or is he going to go for roof? The Uber has been popped from Red. That's a uh, Uber round by Red Team, very unorthodox right now. VG they're getting Sandman by Shocky. <laughs> doesn't drop it though, although uh, you can see Cloud there trying to bomb it, doesn't manage to get anyone. And that Uber, got sparring, that, got sparring. Yeah. There's another spy cap there by uh, Wix, that was really good work. And VG, VG did pop that Uber I think, but uh, didn't manage to get anyone with it. And just got a level 3, a heavy, a medic, an engineer and a pyro on roof right now, alongside a teleporter. No. Yeah, teleporters. Things are not looking that good. No, they definitely don't. But that's that's too bad. They get the openings. They get some some key picks, but uh, the drop again. And I, I think you made a game out of it. I'm pretty sure Brago has done the same thing. I'm pretty sure he has set up another sticky trap somewhere sneaky. We'll see. Um, uh, yeah, they they have to think of something fast if they want to do it. I think a top push would be the right thing to do. Maybe with someone just trying to push the card. Oh wait, they they got the B point right. Yeah. Doesn't that deny Red Team the... Uh, it doesn't matter yeah, if they deny the door, red they have a teleporter. That, yeah, it denies Red Team that shortcut. But at the moment, uh, Israel keep bleeding out, and again they're five down. And that teleporter there from Red Spawn just leads directly to the roof right there. It's being upgraded right now by uh, Fun from Germany. Uh, and Delta's are getting... just one second, he got a nice reflect kill on Clara and took down Big Homer with um, a flare gun within like two seconds. It was nicely played. <laughs> Yeah, that, that looked uh, pretty sweet there. I did catch it in the kill feed. It looks like VG is pushing in his uh, Devil Man through the top right now. Spari there probably doesn't need a new, but finally gets popped there. Don't drop Spari. Okay, right, Israel should have this. They should have the roof right now. They've got the height advantage, although Homer there does have 100% Uber. Oh, does Anubis, pop on the cart right nice. now. Nice. <laughs> uh, wow, Anubis there taking down VG with a Crit uh, reserve shooter, Spy again taken down as well as Delta. Again, things are not looking good for Israel. There are five up, although they do have the height advantage. Roof is theirs. They do have a demo, not demo, a soldier up there, or, and uh, they are going to edge his cart forward. Uh, so it looks like Jeremy are going to have to fall back and build that point three once the engineer gets up into the window. I don't see the stickies there. Nice. There's like three stickies right on the ground. Oh, they don't get anyone, but that was that was dangerous. I guess that's the color advantage of having red stickies on red ground, which is completely imbalanced. And please, Val, fix this by making the ground green. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, uh, they're not pushing ahead of, of the uh, of the card. They just yeah. The card is spearheading spearheading um, the, uh, the, the the push, which it shouldn't. They need to take more ground to actually push it behind them, so they they don't get stopped right away when there's resistance. And Team Germany is just doing. Oh dear, this is this is a massacre. Just a yeah, v, uh, the Uber is popped there. Although Vici will have 80% Uber advantage, but does it matter right now? As Buzz and Delta go down, you can see that a headshot from Sorrow onto Fun there does mean that the Sentry Gun is still level one and cannot, at that angle, shoot anyone. It's currently two minutes left on the clock for Germany to for Germany for Israel to capture two points. It sticks all of the cart right now, and it is getting pressured. By Israel, they're gonna try to do the best to edge his capture and get that forward spawn. But the, we do get a lot of spam coming in from Germany and a level one being built on the tracks back in that old place, back before Dave Plus made 
uh, that Windows Sentry location popular back in UGC Season 8. We are seeing the Sentry Gun built in, the sta in more or less a standard location on Old Badwater. This Uber there is popped uh, by BG onto his uh, heavy buzz there. Manages to open up a window enough for the cut to be capped. Uh, but there's not much they can do. There's 1 minute and 20 seconds left on the clock and a level 3 staring them in the face. I was just completely, I was just completely blank by that by that display of complete and utter UGC platinum and, and general Highlander knowledge. It was just no, come on, I, I can't follow that. I just I don't know. I I, I completely blank out there. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just oh wait, what 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 is she talking about? Wait, no, no, wait. <laughs> the what milkman there can't take it down by a stab from uh, VG. That's really good to uh, shut down the sniper start line. So you can see that Homer J has popped back this Uber to gain some ground and deny that car. I think he hopes to get VG. VG right now on 24 health does manage to pick up a health pack, although a lot of blue are going down right now as Red are being very, very aggressive and trying to hold this corner here. Uh, when you play Highlander, this is the corner that you want to hold, this choky area. Uh, it's optimal, although blue do have that forward spawn and they will be able to get onto that house with their power classes. There are 30 seconds left on the clock. Is there a way that we can physically push it? Only if they have three times the whole way. And currently with all the reds around the car, it doesn't look that likely. No, it does, but they almost have an Uber. They might get enough momentum to actually push it all the way to the last point. But no, keep healing. Keep keep doing things, darn it. Oh, uh, no, where's where's Fiji? Where, where did he go? He popped the Uber. Oh, they went around nicely played. I completely forgot you can actually do that. Get the sentry, dude. No, oh, no, it doesn't work. Ah. Uh, it was nicely uh, thought, but actually taking the longer route might have not been the right Noise there. Uh, too bad. Yeah, wow. That was that's uh two nil there to Germany on PL Badwater, making the score uh six nil overall. If uh, ETF two L are using the same uh points thing, points points system for uh Highlander, but yeah, that is two nil on Steel and two nil on Badwater, making this a win to Germany in this week one ETF two L HL Nations Cup game. Uh, yeah. what, what do you think went well, so well for It's, uh, I, I'd, I'd say it's um, just the general, generally more experience on the German team. Um, they have the more experienced players, they have, they have Shockey, they have Brago, players that just in terms of deathmatch are really, really good. And I know that it's not all about deathmatch and I've seen teams just being generally better um, team-wise, even though they lose the 1v1 fights. They have all the right wishes, they have all the right positioning. But in this case, this is the Nations Cup, so the teams are mostly, if I'm not mistaken, uh, ragtag teams of the best players from one nation, and they didn't have enough time to get a really good team chemistry um, built up. So it will be, uh, in, at least in the group phase, where, when the teams just get to know each other and maybe have scrim for, what, two weeks, three weeks maybe? Um, yeah. Not as reliant on team play and more about individual class. So in this case, it was just I I, I had no doubts except for that one time when when team Israel had this really nice push and steal that team Germany was going to take this decisively and they did. I mean, you can't do it now, but if you look at the dominations, there were like three on Brago, there were two on Anubis, I think, and generally like between one and three dominations on almost every single German player. I think none on the Israeli team, which is which is sad, but it shows you how much um they got outclassed deathmatch wise. Yeah, I'm looking at the logs right now from a second match on PL Badwater. That was that was a nicer reply from Israel, but I wish that they could have done it a bit sooner. Now I'm looking at the damage stats at oh my god Spari with twenty two thousand damage. <laughs> like uh but just alone. Although Brago there with twenty thousand himself, those devil men there are actually double the score of the next most damaged players. Like the heavies from both teams. Well, like they've got like ten thousand. To like, be fair, uh, to be fair, um, there with fifteen thousand though. Carry on. That is that is amazing. Claude being on fifteen thousand, but you got to consider that um, both teams had been running uh, Crits Creek for what five minutes straight, and that yeah. usually ramps up um, the demo's damage output by a lot. I mean, each sticky, no matter what range, I think is three hundred damage. That ramps up really quickly if you got like uh, a Crits Creek every fifty seconds, and keep it up. So demos being being really high on the scoreboard uh, don't quite shock me as much. I, I I know that much about Islander that demos just just completely outscore everyone when crits are involved. All right, I I think it's time to wrap it up. I don't believe we have any interviews going on, although people are asking for them. 
Oh, we, we might have some interviews on, so to our 150 viewers, uh, please stay tuned. There might be some sort of stuff going on. Who do you have given man of the match to from each team? Uh, Anubis from, from Anubis? Team Germany. Yes, definitely. And I'm, I'm not sure, do you know uh, where LT has played before? Because I feel like I've cast him before and I was flabbergasted by his plays there too. Who? Anubis. Anubis. Anubis plays for the marbled polecats in the Yes, I, 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 I have cast him before. I was about to say, <laughs> I recall that kind of play. So he's actually consistent with doing them and yes. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, okay. I I have cast him before. I, I was it was it was strangely familiar, like 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 a deja vu just just talking about him and having nice positioning and really good air blasts. Um that's the thing he does then, I guess. So I'm really excited to see him in the future. And as for the blue team, um I would have gone with Pertasi before the last two rounds, but that's, I think uh, after Wake. that that's Wake. He's uh got a new name. Wake. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, he's called Wake. That's why I kept calling him Wake. I was confused. I thought it was a different player. I couldn't keep track of all the names. Okay, Wake in that case. But after the last two rounds, I give it to Spari. Uh, that damage, um, as I said, damage output doesn't really mean that much. But he got really good sentry picks. And he got a lot of triple kills, nice stickies. And I haven't seen him... Oh, and he got the air pipe on Brago. Right. And he got the air pipe on Brago. He got some <laughs> really key plays. Yeah, I'd have to give it to Spari as well. I don't. I'm not quite sure who I'd give it to on uh, Team Germany. I I want to say Brago because it's the obvious choice. Uh, but Homer J did get some pretty nice. Not Homer J, Big Homer. Wow, you're right. It's ah. confusing. Get some pretty nice uh, stabs there. Although I'm really quite tempted to give it. Actually, no, I'm going to give it to Clara. I will have to give it to Clara for that insane damage as a soldier. Yeah, he was he was getting um how many drops did he get this map? I think one or at least one. At least one. I, I've been told that. Maybe two? Quite mm -hmm. sure. But yeah, he's he's getting a lot of, of good picks on, on the opposing team. Even I think it was this one funny situation where he just jumped past the sentry and got sparry. I think he knew who to focus, was doing the most damage on the other team. And I think that was also when they knew that uh, Team Israel was running Crits Creek and getting the one key player that they needed to get in that situation. So yeah, Good key plays from him, but I'll stick with Anubis. That that's just too much fun to watch, and Pyros never get the spotlight. To well, sadly, doing so much for their team. Pyro love. Now I don't think that we are having interviews. Oh, apparently Anubis is coming. Your favorite Pyro is coming <laughs> in for an interview. Oh, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. I won't be able to talk. Come just on, tell him how much you love him. Ask him to <laughs> sign your mouse map. Yeah, I, I think I think I don't need to do that. If oh, I, I guess I have to because you haven't watched uh, or or listened to us talking. I'm a huge <laughs> fan. I have to say, I've, I've I've already casted the. Um, I'm not sure which one it was. It was Polkas versus a different team, like two months ago, maybe. Actually, first of all, hi. Hello. Yes. Hello. Sorry. Hello, Anubis. What up? How do you feel? I'm feeling great. Like. The bad water was a bit messy, but I think Steel was like pretty confident. We did really good on that map. Yeah, definitely. I've 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 been highlighting you throughout most of well, not most of the match, but a lot. Um, uh -huh. one round wonders it was. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so, uh, what do you think went so well for your team on both very... Steel and <clears throat> Bad Water? Um, well. We obviously all have like really high level players from 6v6 and Highlander, so we kind of know what to do and like calling was not an issue when everybody speaks the same language. It's just so much easier to respond if you speak your mother tongue than like speaking English. And on Steel, I don't know, it was just like the Israel team, they tried really hard to get in, but they didn't really do a a really good job on like trying to get it. It was just like it's such an easy mistake to make for Steel going in for E so hard and then not managing to capture it and then only like having one minute left to capture B. So I guess that's what went well. We also like rotated really well. Yeah, between... I was about to say that the rotation was really good on your team, whereas when, when Team Israel um failed a push or was about to fail one, they scattered and didn't really pull together all that well. And then it took about 40 seconds for them to actually regroup and do another push, whereas uh, you actually got more distraction plays and got picks and mm. weakened them before you did a push. 
Yeah, and because they were so scattered, it was just so easy to like send a demo man behind through C, then D, and then just like kill everyone because they were all clustered up onto the E point. And yeah, I guess that's something they could improve on. But Steel is a hard man, I gotta admit. Like trying to micromanage nine people through the map is really hard. I, I, I meant to say that when Mia said that, um, watching their flank, I was about to say that the entire map is a flank. There's, there's no way you can cover all the entrances and exits. Um, you just gotta, yeah. gotta see where, where they might be coming from and anticipate it and get lucky, I guess. Yeah, it's Sometimes. such a maze. Like, seriously. It's like the first time I won, actually, on Steel. All the <laughs> other times I just lost because we couldn't get the strats together, we couldn't get our act together when something didn't work out on Team Germany. Like, if something goes wrong, we just, like, reset and then try again. And that really worked for us. It did. It wasn't wasn't so much of a suiciding uh, one person and one after another, which usually spells disaster for a team that's doing it. But it seems so right when you do it. Darn it! I know when yeah. I play, but ah, uh, you shouldn't do it. Just don't do it. Whoever's listening, the one tip I know is correct. Don't don't suicide players one after another unless you have a plan and go for a synchronized pick thing. So who would you say from each team was doing well? Because we only watched it, but you experienced it. So who would you say was uh, doing the best on your team and who was causing trouble on the other? Uh, for my team, I got to give it to Brego and Shockey. So basically, it's like all of the team did really well, but like Brego and Shockey stood out really much, picking the medic and whatnot. Just the whole damage they put out was really good good for us. And I don't know, I always found their demo man, I think it was Spari, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, he was a pain. He basically did the same as Brego. And their spy wick was also like, he knew where I was and then he just picked something else. So it was sometimes really annoying to track him. But yeah, they all kind of played well, I guess. So... Or no, go ahead. Go ahead. So uh, next, no, you you go first. So my one's more of a wrap up one. All right, all right. Yeah, in that, that case, I, I'll go first. Yes. Um, what was the reaction to Shocky going Babyface Blaster, Sandman, and Guillotine? Was it was it his idea, or did you urge some player to do something crazy? I just told him as a joke, dude. You have to use the Babyface Blaster and the Cleaver and the Sandman. Like, it. I just told him because he didn't really know about it, like what it does. <laughs> That you should totally oh. use it, and then he did it, and I didn't think, I, I don't think he actually switched off it the entire no, match. No, he, he kept it the entire match, and he didn't, I, I don't think he did all that much, he got one cleaver kill that I, I, I spotted. Uh, I don't know on on, on, uh, on who, but later he got like a double or a triple kill with the baby faces blaster. I know how difficult that is to do, you're not used yeah. to the scatter being, being that narrow. But that, that was insane. I haven't really uh, watched him all that much, which I should have done because it's so much fun to see a scout just rushing at what? 240? 260? Is it 100% more speed in the end? <laughs> yeah. It's insanely yeah. fast. Yeah, it goes to, like, yeah. It's, it's insane. So that could have been fun, but uh, it's not the right map to do it, I think. There's better maps to use it. It's definitely not. That's nice. so, so here's a hint. Keep telling him to do that. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so. like, this whole competition is about experimenting about unlocks and whatnot. It's just not always like, you have to play the meta game. Because that will call, uh, catch off guard quite a lot of people if you don't really play the meta game. Yeah. Also, like, I have to drill this into my team set that we have to push the card because it doesn't seem like they actually know that the card exists. <laughs> it's just a... that. But uh, yeah, it, it happened quite a lot that you got all the way in front of the card, and then there was uh, a lonely sniper pushing it and just haunting on it sometimes. Um, yeah. But but you did actually push ahead of the card, which Team Israel didn't do. Um, they just stayed with the card, and that was one of the main differences in in, in the two teams pushing, and that gave you it didn't give you an edge. It, it, made you win, aside from the uh, deathmatch advantage. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that uh, Israel gave Germany a lot more space uh, later because, like, of course, the psychological impact of uh, losing or, like, playing in a one-sided match against their favor. Now, uh, Anubis, next week you have a match against Iceland, which yep. is uh, on PL Upward and CP Gullywash, I believe. How are you looking at it? Um... Well, uh, Gullywash shouldn't be that much of a problem because of all the 6v6 people and 
all the Highlander people, everybody knows what to do. On Upward, it's just like basically I have to tell them to push the car and I don't know, maybe get some scrims here and there. We, we'll we see. I haven't planned anything yet. All right. I believe it's time to wrap it up. Uh, Ackles, do you have any final words to say? It's Ackles. Yes, it's, it's, that is it's, it's final getting, word. It's getting... I've, I said Akos throughout the whole thing until now. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I just, just notice it now. Just this one time as if you were taunting me. No, final things. No, I think that was a nice wrapping up question. Um, yeah, so this was uh, the first week of Group H, I think Group H, of the ETF United Nations Cup <laughs> Team Israel versus Germany. And Germany won both maps decisively, and we're looking forward to see them perform in their group next week. Yes, indeed. And uh, right, for those of you who are still uh, watching, go over to Lazy Bear stream because I do believe we have Norway against Norway against whom? Norway against Lithuania over there. So uh, if you hop on over, um, I've been Sunny Starmia alongside Atlas, and with John on stream, lots of this cast will be available on Twitch and YouTube. I believe. Uh, Russian will post some links to uh, Blackout Gaming in chat sometime soon. Good luck to both of the teams for future matches, and thank you to our viewers for tuning in uh, into this Highlander Nations Cup match. Hopefully you come back to us uh, sometime in the future for some great live competitive TF2 action.